Hi students. Projection of solids one. Projection of solids is slightly time consuming chapter because in lines we have a thin line to draw where visualization is slightly difficult. In plane, projection of planes, you have got plane surfaces. Visualization is comparatively easy and the time consumed is reasonable in drawing. But when it comes to solids, the visualization is rather, since it is a physical object, you can easily visualize the presence of the object. But the time consumed is more because you have got more points to draw, more parts to be drawn. Otherwise, projection of solids is comparatively comfortable. People are more comfortable in solids. Only the time is an issue. Okay, now let us consider what are we going to draw. We are going to draw prisms, pyramids, cylinder, cone and sphere. We can classify them as polyhedra and surface of revolution. With flat faces, objects with the flat faces and corners are called polyhedra. And smooth surface generated by rotating something is called surface of revolution, solids of revolution. Okay. To start with, we have got prisms to draw. Prisms are mainly triangular prism, square prism, pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism. I will show them. Then we have got pyramids, same set. Triangular pyramid, square pyramid, pentagonal pyramid and hexagonal pyramid. Then cylinder, then cone, tetrahedron, octahedron and sphere. And then you can have combinations of these also. One object sitting over another, the combination of these things. Okay, we, we will come to them. This is a triangular prism. When we say triangular prism, we deal with regular prisms. If the base is an equilateral triangle, we call it as a regular prism. It can have an isosceles triangle or a different kind of scaled triangle also. Then it is a triangular prism, not regular. We deal with only 99% chance we deal with only regular prism. So this is an equilateral triangular prism. Usually we will ignore that equilateral because we mean only equilateral. Okay, equilateral triangular prism. It has got base as an equilateral triangle, the top as an equilateral triangle, and the four, the three rectangular faces. Rectangular faces. Agreed? This is called a corner of base. This is called an edge of base or side of base. This is called a longer edge or vertical edge. If it is standing, you call it vertical edge. Nilkumbo is a vertical edge in the body. Katakoni is a longer edge in the body. Similar to the base, you have got a top. Whatever comes down is the base and the other is the top. They are same. So whatever comes down, you call the base. The other is the top. Equilateral triangular prism. If you imagine a line through the solid connecting the geometrical centers of the two triangles, we call it as the axis. Axis. This equilateral triangular prism has the axis perpendicular to the base. Axis perpendicular to the base. Therefore, we call them right prism. If the axis is inclined to the base, we call it as an oblique prism. We usually do not draw such things. Oblique prism. So you draw only regular right prisms and pyramids. So this is an equilateral triangular prism. Regular we ignore, right also we ignore because we mean that like that only. In a further, a clearer way, you can say right regular triangular prism. Agreed? Now, this is designated by a side of base and the axis side. A triangular prism, 40 mm side and 90 mm or 100 mm axis completely define this. Agreed? It can stand on its base in various orientations. If this is VP, in various orientations it can stand. It can stand on HP on an edge of base. In various orientation, axis parallel to VP, inclined to VP, so many things. 
It can stand on its feet on a corner of base. Various orientations. It can lie on HP on a rectangular face. It can lie on HP on a longer edge. It can remain on VP on its face in various positions. It can rest on VP on an edge of face. It can rest on VP on a corner of face. It can lie on VP on a rectangular face. It can lie on VP on a longer edge in numerous orientations. It can be in space also without touching HP or VP. It can be in space in numerous orientations. We will have to draw them. We will have to draw them. That's our task. Now, this is a square prism, very similar to that. Square base, square top, four rectangular faces on the sides, edge of base, corner of base, longer edge. Axis. An imaginary line connecting the centers of the two square faces, base and top, are, is called the axis, imaginary line, through the solid. Pentagonal prism, base, hollow, pentagon, pentagon, edge of base, corner of base, longer edge, agree? Hexagonal prism, edge of base, Base, top, edge of base, corner of base, longer end, rectangular faces, how many? Six. Agree? Square pyramid, square base, a line called axis and on the axis a point which you call as the apex. Apex, I am holding the apex. And isosceles triangular faces on the sides, how many? Four. Isosceles triangular faces. Four. Four numbers. Square pyramid. Side of base, corner of base. Apex. Slant edge. Slant edge. How many? Four. Slant edge. Agree? Altitude of the isosceles triangular face is called slant height. If you connect the center of this side to the apex, it's called slant height. So there are three important lengths. One is axis, other is slant height, other is slant edge. Which is the longest? Which is the longest among the three? Axis, slant height, slant edge. True length of slant edge. Slant edge is bigger. Longest, slant edge. Second is slant height. And the shortest is axis edge. Okay, this can stand similarly on HP or in space in numerous orientations. One side parallel to VP, one side perpendicular to VP, 30 degrees to VP, what are it? it can stand on HP on a side of base. It can stand on HP on a corner of base. It can lie on HP on a triangular face. It can lie on HP on a long, on a slant edge. It can stand on HP on a corner on the apex. It can stand on VP on its face. It can stand on VP on an edge of face. It can stand on HP on a corner of face. It can lie on VP on the triangular face. It can lie on VP on the corner apex. It can lie on VP on the longer edge. It can be in space without touching HP or VP in numerous positions. You'll have to draw the plan and division. Unfortunately, I don't have the model of a pentagonal pyramid, triangular pyramid, and a hexagonal pyramid. Only one pyramid is available. You can visualize that. For a pentagonal pyramid, there will be five isosceles triangular faces. For a hexagonal pyramid, six isosceles triangular faces. For a triangular pyramid, three isosceles triangular faces. Okay? Okay. okay. Incidentally, this is a cube. What is a cube? Cube is a small vertical square prism. Square, square prism. Height of the prism is equal to the side. That's all. It's called the cube. Peculiar, particular condition of a square prism is the Q. Height is equal to side. Okay. Small cylinder, a circular base, circular top with a smooth surface connecting the two, two circles, cylinder. A geometrical, I mean, a line connecting the geometrical center, the top circle and the bottom circle is called the axis. A cylinder is represented by 
diameter and axis height. A cylinder, 50 mm diameter and 70 mm axis completely defining. Because we take always a right cylinder. If the cylinder axis is inclined to the base, you call it as an oblique cylinder. We are dealing with only right cylinders. Now you can think of a cone. What is a cone? A cone has got a circular base and a point on the apex and smooth surface connecting the apex to the base circle. I will show you models by doing problems. Cylinder and the cone are called uh, also sphere. What is a sphere? Sphere is a football. These three can be called as solids of revolution because if you rotate a line about its another center, you get the surface of the cylinder. What is the diameter? Diameter is the twice the distance which, about which you rotate. So it can generate the surface of the cylinder when rotated about the center of the surface. So this line which is generating the surface is called a generator. So what is the generator of a cylinder? Generator of a cylinder is a line connecting any point of the base circle to the corresponding point of the top circle. And in a base circle, the other point is in the near the top circle in the point like a line and a generator on the right. And line about the center rotate the cylinder in the surface. Similarly, a cone, or cone in the apex of the base in the other point of the line in the line. A line about the axis rotate either. You get the get the surface of the cone. So generator of a cylinder is a line on the surface connecting any point of the base circle to the top circle, and generator of a cone is a line connecting any point of the base circle to the apex. Similarly, when you half circle it that about the diameter rotate it in your sphere. You get a sphere by rotating a half circle about its diameter. Now, how many generators for a cone? One cone natural generator is infinite. One cylinder natural generator is infinite. That's it. Okay. Now, when you keep the axis of a solid perpendicular to HP, we call it as a simple position. Here the axis is perpendicular to HP. We call it as a simple position. Which view can you draw? When you look from the top, the, this is a square prism. So, when you look from the top, the plan is a square. What is the elevation when you look from there? A rectangle. You do not know the width of the rectangle because it is not in a, uh, in a position where the side is parallel to BP. Change everything. So, the elevation is a rectangle. The size of the rectangle you do not know. So, the plan can be easily drawn. Whatever be its orientation, the plan is a square eye. Agreed? So, in this simple position, we will draw the plan first and project the elevation then. We will draw the plan first. A the object, A the object, E simple position, we will plan the elevation in the So, when the axis of a solid is perpendicular to HP, we call it as a simple position. And we will draw, draw the plan first and project the elevation from that. Or you object in the solid in the axis H P perpendicular right which it is H P perpendicular right which it is plan where it is plan at the very view where it is plan at the very view very much at the project that is a simple position only. Similarly, if you keep the solid with its base on V P, its axis is perpendicular to V P. So when the axis is perpendicular to V P, you call it as a simple position. A in your direction, A the orientation only means that. In the other direction, the elevation is square I, is square perimeter. Elevation is a square. When the axis is perpendicular to VP, it's a simple position, and we will draw the elevation first and project the plan. Elevation at the American, other than the plan. So, what is meant by simple position? Simple position is a position when the axis of a solid is perpendicular to one of the reference planes. If the axis is perpendicular to HP, it's a simple position. When the axis is perpendicular to VP, it is another simple position. In the case of planes, planes were just go. Number lamina HP cut the simple position. Lamina VP cut the HP cut the HP ki par light vikyo jido simple position. VP cut the or VP ki par light vikyo jido simple position. Similarly, when a solid axis is perpendicular to HP, we call it as a simple position. When the solid axis is perpendicular to VP, we call it as a simple position. Yet 
plane my dash is perpendicular on now our plane like the projection of the brain yeah the plane my dash is perpendicular on now are they like the projection of the brain but they didn't know the when the axis is perpendicular to a plane we draw the projection of the object to that plane first when the axis is perpendicular to hp projection to hp is drawn plan plan is drawn when the axis is perpendicular to vp projection to vp is drawn first elevation that's all about simple position in solids so this is solids one where i have given you the various types of solids i have given you the various nomenclature the various terminology related to solids i have also given you the types of the solids and what is simple position when you are asked to draw a question you chodi chodikumbo axis rendu plane umayitt inclined aayittu adhi chodikkam varikkan parayam simple position varichale munbottu povan pattu you have to draw the simple position first and then draw so first of all you must have an idea about simple position it is always better if you make models like this this i made to show you Models like this, a prism. You can make all prisms for better understanding. Seeing is the best way of understanding, isn't it? Rather than learning and visualizing, you can see and then visualize and keep it in your memory forever. That is about prisms. You can make it with the greeting cards, marriage invitation cards, etc. You can also make pyramids. You draw an isosceles triangle on a hard paper. isosceles triangle about 3 cm base and 8 or 7 cm on the sides repeat it same repeat it again on the sides then fold it to get the pyramid you need not cut everything you can fold them on those lines you make an impression with your compass sharp sharp corner of your steel tip of the compass leg it will bend easily there then fold it i will request you to make all these models to be on the safer side if you want 100 marks out of 100 make models that's what i say Okay then we will come to uh, various positions of the solids in the next video Okay then thank you